Hainan province, the Pearl of South China is a picturesque home to more than 10 ethnic groups, including the Miao people, the Hui people, and primarily the Han people and the Li people. All these ethnic groups moved here from the mainland at different times and have developed distinct customs and traditions after generations living on the island. As far as folk songs are concerned, those of the Li people are the most noteworthy and the most well-known of all Hainan folk songs. After arriving in the provincial capital, Haikou, we visited a local expert on folk music, Mr. Xie Wenjing. We learned from the interview that to understand Hainan folk songs better, especially the Li people's folk songs, we must first visit an important person. Wang Fu Da Apo. Wang Fu Da is a legendary person in Hainan folk music and is considered the folk song queen in the eyes of the Li people. Chinese folk music researchers call her a living archive of the Li people's folk songs. She is reputed to have traveled through the entire island as a young girl and learned each and every folk song in Hainan. Now the legendary folk song queen lives in the mountainous Cheongjong County in central Hainan. Mr. Xie Wenjing suggested that we follow in Wang Fuda's footsteps and make a tour of the island first, instead of rushing to visit her right away. It was a brilliant idea, and we decided to interview her after the trip. Along the routes through western and central Hainan, we embarked on a journey of discovery to find the origins of Hainan's most distinctive folk songs. The inhabitants of the western part of Hainan are mostly Han. Except for the fact that the first Han people moved here from the mainland, we hardly know anything about their exact origins, why they left their hometowns and came to the ends of the earth, or how they've survived for thousands of years on an island that was once desolate and wild. Interestingly, however, the answers to our questions lie in the ancient folk songs sung in various Hainan dialects. As the song unfolds, its primitive and simple tune seems to bring historical scenes from 2,000 years ago to life. Around 2,000 years ago, an army of the Han dynasty led by Ma Yuan, the illustrious general Fu Bo, landed on the island and set up camps throughout the northwestern plains. In the succeeding dynasties, these campsites turned into regular garrison posts. In the Ming dynasty, between the 14th and 17th century, the military was organized by the Wei Suo system, which split the army up into numerous Wei or Suo in frontier lands where the troops were trained. Thus, the former garrison post on the island became Wei and Suo stations, which explains such place names as Ba Suo, the 8th Suo, and Shu Suo, the 10th Suo, still in use today in the city of Dongfang. In ancient China, most garrisons stationed in Hainan were dispatched from the northern part of the country. After generations guarding and living on the island, the people of these regions continued to speak the mother tongue of their ancestors, which was known by locals as the Jun or army dialect to distinguish it from indigenous dialects. Like an insect in amber from thousands of years ago, the Jun dialect remains the same in many ways as the ancient Mandarin Chinese spoken by the mainlanders. It's said that General Fubor's army celebrated their landing on the island 
by holding dragon boat contests and other recreational activities each year on May the 5th in the Chinese lunar calendar. As time passed, these celebrations evolved into a special festival for Jun dialect speakers, the Sha Nan Festival. Of all traditional events, the most important is the singing of antiphonal folk songs in the Jun dialect. Though derived from the language of military troops, the folk songs sung in the Jun dialect feature tender and graceful melodies. The lyrics have nothing to do with swords or guns, but reflect mostly the affection between men and women. Through the ages, soldiers, government officers, fishermen from Guangdong, Fujian and other coastal provinces and refugees and exiles kept moving to Hainan from the mainland, all bringing their own dialects to the island. In addition to the languages of indigenous ethnic minorities, there are a surprising number of other dialects spoken in Hainan. Nevertheless, it has never been a problem for the indigenous islanders and the newcomers to communicate or band together. Wang Fu Da, the legendary folk song queen, is known to have learned folk songs in Mandarin and taught Li folk songs to Han communities. Language is the soul of folk songs, and the folk songs of Hainan are sung in a rich diversity of dialects. Li Li Mei, for instance, is a type of fisherman's song sung in the dialect of Lingao County. Li Li Mei is an expression praising female beauty in the Lingao dialect. Accordingly, the lyrics of these songs are generally about love and romance. Located in northwestern Hainan, Lingao County is well known for its folk arts, particularly the Li Li Mei fisherman songs and the unique and matchless puppet opera. Yeah. 
Li Li Mei may date back to the Southern Song Dynasty in the 12th century. At that time, the fisheries of Lingao were flourishing. Every day when the fishing boats returned to port, fisherwomen would hawk the fish at market. Their calls were so pleasing to the ear that they gradually turned into music, and eventually the Li Li Mei we hear today. Even now, whenever the fishermen and fisherwomen sail out to sea, they sing the Li Li Mei to their wives or husbands to say goodbye. And when they return home safely, they sing it again to express their love for each other. Folk songs are regarded as a treasure of the folk arts and vivid descriptions of history. Some, like the folk songs in the Jun dialect, depict the old times when the Han Dynasty garrison guarded the southern frontier, and some mirror the evolution and development of the Han culture in Hainan. February the 2nd in the Chinese lunar calendar is the traditional Long Tai To festival for the Han people, which is celebrated in all villages and counties of Danzhou. Singing Jiao Sheng tunes is a big component of such celebrations. Danzhou's Jian Shang tunes can be classified as mountain songs from inland Hainan. As old as the folk songs in the Jun dialect, They've evolved over the centuries and absorbed the musical traditions of indigenous ethnic groups. Around the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Diao Shang tunes were already a mature musical form. People will spontaneously hold hands and dance along when they sing Diao Shang tunes. It's said that in the old days when recreational activities were scarce, singing Diao Shang tunes was the Danjo people's favorite pastime and they would keep singing the whole night through. Diao Shang tunes are quite different from the Han people's songs in the mainland since they represent a cultural blending of the Han and the local minorities. It's not hard to imagine that over the past centuries, many folk song singers must have dedicated themselves to disseminating music among different minorities, just as Wang Fuda did.
We finish the trip along the west coast and start moving northward from the island's southernmost point, heading to the mountain area in the central region, that is, the Lee Minority Group region. The Lee Minority people are generally believed to be the island's original inhabitants. So far, 130 Neolithic archaeological sites have been discovered in Hainan, and scientific studies show that they all belong to the Lee people's ancestors. Over the last few thousand years, the Lee people have built a diverse and splendid culture, and cotton textile manufacturing is one of their greatest achievements. For a certain period of time, brocade textiles made by the Lee people far excelled those produced in the mainland. And it's from the Lee people that Huang Da Po, a female textile expert at the turn of the 13th and 14th centuries, learned cotton processing skills and later made improvements which have had far-reaching influence on China's social and economic development. Though the Li people excel in textile manufacture, they don't have a written language of their own, and until the early 20th century, still lived in a primitive agrarian society. Thus their folk art, in oral form, is more highly developed. The Li people in Hainan province speak five dialects, and different dialect groups vary in their traditional customs and their folk songs. Folk art is always deeply rooted in the area where it originates. Surrounded by picturesque scenery, the Lee people create folk songs to express their love for beauty and for nature. Wang Fo Da, the acclaimed folk song queen of the Li minority group, is from the Qianzhong region, where people speak the Ji dialect. It's said that Wang used to enjoy being a bridesmaid, so that she could travel to many villages and learn the local folk songs in various dialects. Wang is illiterate, but she has a remarkable memory and learns quickly. By the time she was in her 20s, she'd already learned dozens of tunes and nearly a thousand songs, including songs in Mandarin Chinese and the Kejia dialect. Wang's achievement is partly attributed to her own talent and partly to the zest for music inherent in every one of the Li people.
from the day they're born. Music is an indispensable part of their life. Cradle songs for babies, nursery rhymes for children, and love songs for young people. In the last moments of their life, they'll sing out their last words, and ceremonies like weddings and funerals cannot be held without songs. March the 3rd in the Chinese lunar calendar is said to be the birthday of Li Mu, the legendary earliest ancestor of the Li. On that day, a singing and dancing gala is held in each village. When night falls, young boys and girls sit round a bonfire and sing love songs. It's like Valentine's Day for the Li people. <laughs> As time goes by, many traditional customs of the Li have faded away. These pretty girls from the Li minority group, though dressed in folk costumes, still have a touch of modern style. But in the old days, women here had a unique understanding of beauty. Tattoos have been a part of the Li people's lives for thousands of years. Folklore experts call them Dan Huang murals, carved on human bodies. Nobody knows exactly the origin of the Li people's tattoos, but it's assumed that women had tattoos so as to differentiate themselves in case of a tribal conflict, since each tribe had its own tattoo patterns. Gradually, tattoos became a symbol of beauty and good fortune. Until the early 20th century, many women still had tattoos. However, this painful way to look beautiful has now been discarded by the female members of the Lee minority group, who are more adjusted to the modern lifestyle. <laughs> Kung Pa and Dao Zhong Hua were once the two most popular folk songs in the Bai Shu region. But nowadays, few people know how to sing these songs, and that's why modern airs to traditional music like Wang Fu Da have become ever more important. After passing through various regions in Hainan, where various folk songs are found, we finally arrived in Yawan village, Chongjong County, Wang Fu Da's hometown. The door of Wang Fu Da's house is locked. Some local people tell us Wang has been in hospital for several days.
In a room in Chongjong County Hospital, we finally see the famous folk song queen. She was sent to the hospital several days ago with a lung infection. She has difficulty speaking at the moment, but when she hears why we've come, she still insists on singing for us. Wang Fu Da, a living archive of Li folk songs, has come to the last years of life. It's said that the local government is hurrying to collect and record the songs she knows. We bid farewell to Wang and our trip to Hainan has almost come to an end. Before we leave, the local government arranges a trip to another village. Chongjong County is an important centre where Li folk songs are flourishing. Apart from the folk song Queen, it also boasts a village where every villager is good at singing. That is Zoya village in Shang'an town. A large number of the Li people's old folk songs are well preserved in Shang'an town, and it's recognized nationally as a home for Chinese folk music. Zoya village is the most typical village of the town. Located at the foot of Wuji mountain and on the upper reaches of the Wanchuan river, Zoya village is a place with a beautiful natural environment. Every villager there, old or young, is an excellent folk song singer. The folk song queen has grown old now, but we see a ray of hope in these children who may turn into folk song kings or queens themselves one day. <laughs>